Hey, what's up, guys? Ryan here from Rise Tech Tube, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iOS 5.0.1 device using the new Red Snow, Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 9. All your info um, on download links are in the description below. Once you download it, go into Red Snow, and you're going to click on the Extras tab. Now, if you're a Windows user, the first thing that you'll notice is if you go into the Extras tab, you'll see the custom IPSW is openable. Yes, Red Snow did make it available to Windows users now. And the second thing this is good for is for you iOS 5.0.1 users, you're no longer going to have to select IPSW 5.0.0 from your computer every time you boot your um, device tethered. Now you can click jailbreak and then click next and we're going to put our device in the DFU mode by clicking the top button, the power button, for 3 seconds and then both buttons for 10 seconds. After around 10 seconds you can release the top button and keep holding the home button. Once the computer prompts that you let go, you can um, let go and it will start jailbreaking your device. So now it's just loading all the jailbreak data onto your device and you don't have to do anything till you're prompted to. As you can see on the screen in the video, you could see that the iPod screen will just turn partially white. And you'll get a pop-up here that's asking you to install Cydia, iPad Baseband, and etc. Just make sure install Cydia is only checked unless you know what you're doing. So now we can go ahead and click Next. And the installation will begin on our device. And for those of you still wondering, yes, this is still a tethered reboot. You're still going to have to boot your system tethered. But um, it's not that hard. All you have to do is go into Red Snow and click Extras and click Just Boot. The only reason it's annoying is because if you run out of charge and you want to charge it via the wall outlet at somewhere, you, ha you have to have your computer with you because you're going to need to um, boot it tethered. But there is an option called semi-tethered boot. It'll, it'll let you go on your device, but all the features on your device won't be normal and active. I'll get into that. All you have to do is go into the description and look for a guide. Look for the link guide on how to do that. And for all you first-time jailbreakers out there, make sure not to turn your device off or do anything to it during this process. It's currently installing the um, Red Snow on your device. It's jailbreaking your device. So if you mess it up, you could damage your device permanently and you won't be able to load it up. So yeah, don't do anything. And once you get to this pineapple screen, this may take a while. It may take, it may take over five minutes in some cases. Because if you have a lot of applications on your device, it'll have to move them and um, put them in a different folder and etc. If you're one of the unlucky few who got an error code during this process, then what you're going to have to do is either restore it via iTunes or you can go back into Red Snow and try booting up your device using the DFU mode. So all you have to do to do that is go into Red Snow, click Extras, and click Just Boot. So the jailbreak process is almost done now, so get on your computer and make sure Red Snow is open and click Extras because we're going to do a tethered reboot next. Okay, now with the tethered reboot open, we're going to click the top button for three seconds. And after that, we're going to click the home button and the top button for 10 seconds. Once that's done, after 10 seconds, keep holding the home button until the computer screen prompts you to let go. And there we go. It's going to boot tethered right now. This may take like up to a minute. And yes, for all you new jailbreakers out here, this is what you're going to have to do every time your device fully turns off. Unless you want to downgrade to an older iOS version, this is what you're going to have to do. Hacker Pod 2G is actually working on a new untethered jailbreak for iOS 5 and 5.0.1. So, if iOS 5.1 comes out before that, I suggest you don't download that. 
because an untethered um, boot will come out and being untethered you'll, you're going to be able to boot up your device like normal and if you're wondering why I'm going through the new iPhone setup that's because this is a new iPhone and I have never used it before and thank you guys for watching if you have any problems then leave a comment below and I'll try my best to help you please like comment and subscribe thanks for watching